Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the first lesson of my video. In this lesson, we'll learn the, about the tajweed of Surah Al Kawthar Makkiya. It's a Makki surah. So let's begin our today's lesson. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna. As you see that there is a shad here. And there's a mud here. That's why we'll say it. Inna. And we have to make it a little bit longer because there is a mud here. And we have to connect Aleph with Noon as there is Shad and the Zabar here. So we'll say Inna. Ah. Now see, this is Aleph Zabar and there is a Jazm on Ayn. So this will connect like R. And don't forget to pronounce Ayn correctly. You have to make it out from your throat. In And this is Fa. So that's why you have to say in This is a standing zabar and this is calf zabar and here is again a jazam. So that's why these two are connecting like this. In there is again jazam in here and zabar. So these two will connect like cow. As we know that it is pronounced with like sa, like this. So we will pronounce it correctly. And it's zabar so that's why we have to end in here and it's I will make a vakfa here. Inna a'poyna kal kawthar Okay, it's done. Now let's move to the next ayah. Fa'salli Now you see that sod. It's also from the harufa talafus. So that's why you have to pronounce it correctly. And the way of pronunciation is Sod. That's why Fasolli. You don't have to say Fasolli. You have to say Fasolli. And there's a Shad and a Zer in here. That's why these, these will connect. Fasolli. Li Rabbika. This is Zer, that's why Li. And you have to say Ra like this. Ra. You don't have to say Ra because it's wrong. Fasalli li rabbika. The correct pronunciation of this is Ra. Okay. And because there is a Zer behind the Ra, that's why. We will pronounce it Ra. Fasalli li rabbika. Now as you see that there is a shad in here. And a zir and a ba. That's why we will say Fasalli li rabbika. One. Again there is a zabar and a jazam here. We will say one. And this is also from the Rufa Telefus. That's why we'll also say it from. And we have also have to make it out like Ayn from our throat. Fasalli li rabbika wan hao. Did you uh, see that? What's the difference between ha and ha? So don't say hao. Because it's ha. 
it's from the uh, it's it's out from your hello that's why let's repeat let's move to the next tile in shani aka we see that there is a shad in here and a zabar. That's why these will connect and it will become in. There is a little bit force applied in here, like in. Let's come on this one. Shani aka. So because there is an alif, so that's why we don't we don't say shani aka. Because there is an alif. That's why we are saying Shani Aka. Who will abetaur? This is also Zebar and this is a Jazan, so this will connect. In Shani Aka, who will abetaur? You don't have to say it abetaur because Ba is from the Harufi Qalqala. Now, which are the haruf of qalqala? Qaf, ta, ba, jim, dal. So, ba is there. That's why we'll say it. Inna shani aka huwa al-abtar. Now, let's repeat. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Inna a'atayna ka al-kawthar. فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَانْحَرْ إِنَّ شَانِئَكَ هُوَ الْأَبْتَرْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ Okay, so this is the end of today's lesson. I hope you'll revise it again. Allah Hafiz and take care.